does it does it bother you that worship music is repetitive? Because it doesn't bother me. And I I guess I feel maybe alone in this opinion that worship music is supposed to be supposed to be repetitive. Okay, like I saw a meme and then my own mother told me that my own worship was too repetitive. The meme, I'm sure you've seen one just like it. Uh, new worship bridge comes out. Worship leader, heart eyes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna repeat that times 1800 or you know, whatever. Uh, my boyfriend sent me that kind of a meme and I responded to him, bro, if we got it the first 1799 times, we wouldn't have to repeat it the 1800th time. And I think that's, the opinion that I hold, and I want to see if I'm alone, or what you think, or maybe I can convince you that, like, this is an opinion we should have, is that worship music needs to be repetitive. It does. Like, because worship music, as much as it is about honoring and bringing worth and glory to God, as with most things that God asks us to do, it's actually for us. And so the repetition of stuff it's, it's a beautiful gift is what it is. Because how many of you just are sitting in your daily life thinking deeply and a lot about anything theological? I mean, I'm sure you do because like, you know, otherwise you probably wouldn't think God is true and you wouldn't like be trying to follow him and all of these things. But like, really, do you practice rumination? Do you practice meditation on scripture? Maybe you are the exception. Maybe I am the exception. But I seem to think that like the beauty of putting repetition in worship music is that it's like an exercise in like really deeply considering stuff, truth, capital T truth, God, considering him corporately. Okay, so I mean, while I could go off on a like corporate versus individual worship tangent, like <laughs> we as kids don't learn how to talk by hearing our parents say a word once. Our parents are like constantly talking and repeating stuff to us. And only after we have heard it like 1,799 or 1,800 times, do we finally figure out, oh, mom, pop, dad. And when we start to imitate that, of course it comes out at first like really awkwardly and like unfortunately, but like the more you repeat it and the more you practice it, the more fluent you become at it and the more adept you are at expressing it. And I'm just sitting here like, dude, okay, is it not common knowledge that this is the purpose? That like we, you know, worship music isn't uncreative, it's intentional. Worship, like the repetitiousness of this is not just a lack of creativity or a lack of being able to say the same thing in different ways or like in more profound ways. Like, no, repetitiousness in worship is an exercise in comprehension and deeper comprehension and the deeper processing of truth for us and it's like for his glory and it's just honestly god is so good and so kind and i am like sitting here so frustrated that everyone is so frustrated about how repetitious music is I'm not looking at you josh o'keefe but whatever yeah so why wouldn't we repeat stuff to God like he's he's one of the only people who can take it honestly I mean okay like Stephanie Gretzinger I think said this the first time I heard it and she was like dude have you ever considered that when John entered the throne room in Revelation 4 the elders and the end like all of like that song holy 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 let me tell you about repetition let me talk to you about can you imagine how long they were sitting there singing holy before John walked in I mean, it's implied that it's a really long time. And it's also implied that, like, God wasn't annoyed by it. And that he was fine with it. And maybe he even, I mean, like, with the whole image of, like, casting the crowns down and being returned. Anyway, with that being said, I think repetition is a good thing. And I'd be curious if there are any other opinions that you might have or like what you might say against repetition and worship. And uh, if you liked this format or not, because I just kind of wanted to share an opinion. I'm not I like I tried to keep it as casual and chill as possible because I, I don't want to be like, you know, some pretentious like prick who like thinks that they have everything together. Like, no, you're like sitting with me in my living room and I am sharing an opinion that I have. 
And I'm curious what you think about this opinion and like, what, what should we do? How should we come together and seek and bring glory to our God? And why is or isn't repetitiousness a good thing? I think it's a great thing. I think it's an exercise in meditation, something that is like sorely lacking in our society these days. And so, yeah, let's repeat. You are good, good, oh, 1800 times. <laughs>